Hey guys, Kate here from Nemro Minecart, and before I get to what I'm reviewing, which are these things, I'm just going to go on a quick tangent or rant. Please note that these were announced somewhere in June. Yeah, if I remember, yeah, somewhere, yeah, they were announced somewhere in June. And here's the thing I know I'm not the only person who has this complaint, but. It gets really annoying when there are things for holidays that get announced so early. And what I mean and what I mean by that is like so early at early as in like not even on on the month or near the month. For example, October. Like when there was like actually you know I'm gonna use the main example. Christmas. Because I remember like it this was in June. I was on a walk, and I, when I was coming back home, and I went out of the park, because where I was walking, there was this path that led to the park, that was a quicker way to get back to my house, and, like, there were some people who lived by the park, and, like, the first house had freaking Christmas stuff up, it, and immediately when I saw that, in my head, it was like, uh, it... July isn't even over yet, and also, other thing, bonus, it's not even close, it's, it's like, it's, it's not even December, it's not even close to December, it just, now here's the thing, whenever people, like, put up Halloween stuff early, which is rare, but whenever people put up Halloween stuff, or, like, Halloween related stuff, Stuff or like anything Halloween related gets announced early that is supposed to come on October, that's fine because at least, like for example, if you're in June or July, at least October isn't that far because it's like for June it's July, August, September, October. It's it's four it's three months or four. I don't know. I'm I'm bad at counting it. But for, and then for July, which is, you have to wait August and September, and then boom. Uh, wait, yeah, let me, let me recount that. I'm sorry if I sounded stupid. I'm sorry. Okay, so for June, you have to wait until July, August, and September, and then after that, October. But if you're in July, you will have to wait, f you will then have to wait for August and September to be over. So yeah. It's not really a big month gap, gap, it's mostly like around 2 or 3, but for December, we're going to do the same thing. If you're in June, you will have to wait, let's see, July, August, September, October, November, 5 months until, uh, until December, and then for July, the other thing, it's, it's 4 months, so yeah, there's a pretty big freaking gap there, and also, it also gets annoying when they keep doing, show, shoving the Christmas stuff, because usually it's around in October, or, af or after October, when people are getting into Thanksgiving. It's like, it's like, yes, yes, we get it, America loves Christmas, okay? We get it, could you calm down and wait until December to put up the stuff, or at least wait until late November? Jeez. But, yeah, anyways, with that rant over... Yeah, so we're going to talk about this stuff. So you're probably wondering, what is Funko mean? Well, to my knowledge, it's basically Funko's, well... Well, it's basically like a line of of merch related to horror-related stuff. Which, that's really all I know about. And also, no, it's not exclusive to FNAF. I remember seeing something Letterface related, but I'm just going to mo mostly focus on FNAF because, to be perfectly honest, that's really the only type of FNAF merch from Fo- Because, that's, to be perfectly honest, that's the only type of merch I like from Funko. Anything FNAF related. And I mean, it's not just FNAF related stuff, I also like any of their merch related stuff that are, that are related to any of our series I like, like Minecraft, Team Fortress 2, Doom, Mass Effect, Dead Space, Friday the 13th, yeah. I'll probably make a list 
Oh, of all the series I like, and uh, there's probably a, going to be a very big chance that I actually haven't experienced most of them, and the only way I know about them is either, like, seeing clips of them or people experience them themselves. I don't know, it's, it's kind of hard to explain. But anyways, to get on topic to explain this stuff. So, we're going to talk about the figures first, and then we're going to talk about the plushies last, because, uh, oh boy, I do have my opinions on the plushies. Mo most of them are good, especially for this guy right here. So, first, the figures. So, as a surprise, Glitch Trap. Now, to be perfectly honest, when the Security Breach figures were announced, I was thinking maybe Glitch Trap will be the secret figure that you get to build. But, then it was revealed that there is no buildable figure, which takes away the main reason why you would even want to get all of the figures, so... Yeah, but even then, I'm still getting all the figures because that Glamrock Chica action figure is so derpy, my lord. And I don't mean that as a bad thing either, that's like, I mean that as a plus because it, it, it generally looks funny. So yeah, Glitch Trap. We finally have some official merch of Glitch Trap, and... To be honest, getting, getting to the topic of plushies, I'm actually surprised how they haven't made a Glitch Trap plushie though. Because... I mean, if they did do that, that would definitely make Vanny cosplayers happy, I guess. But yeah, so it's basically just Glitch Trap, and the only problem is the eyes aren't, uh, you know, facing the opposite directions. He doesn't have the derp eyes like he does in FNAF VR, so... Yeah, but still, pretty cool figure, so... Yeah, 4 out of 5, so... Yeah, expect 4 out of 5s, because none of these figures are terrible, surprisingly enough. Next, we have Grim Foxy. Tr we have a uh, transparent torso. Looks some... I mean, looks close enough, I guess. But the hook could be a bit larger, but hey, another 4 out of 5. Jack O'Bonny. Oh man, does anyone remember that small phase that Funko went into when they only wanted to make Jacko Chica merch and not Jacko Bonnie stuff. Yeah, th those were some fun times. So anyways, we have Jacko Bonnie now. The brother of Jacko Chica, I guess. Uh, I might get murdered for saying that, but hey, for that fan base, I guess. But anyways, pretty good looking figure. And if you look closely, you can definitely tell that, yes, transparent base. The only downside is I think the orange is a bit too... It, it, it has... I think the orange here looks like a bit on the orangish red. So, yeah, that's really the only downside. Now, Dreadbear. To be honest... Oh, okay, but first, 4 out of 5. But back to Dreadbear. To be honest, the only complaint that I have is his color, because in-game, like right here, like he has more of a brownish, moldish color, like the plus right here, which they got right here, but they didn't get it right here. But to be honest, that's really my only complaint, so yeah, looks pretty cool, so yeah, 4 out of 5. Now the <sighs> Walmart exclusive. Great. That's... I'll... After I talk about... You know what? Yeah, I'm gonna get this off my chest now. This does not make me happy, because the last time I went to Walmart to look for FNAF stuff, I barely found anything. So, I'm kind of worried that this and this will be really hard to find. Which is a bad thing, because I really want this and this. Specifically this. And this. But, anyways, it's mostly just Foxy in a pirate outfit, aka the one he wore in one of the mini games for the Curse of, Re Curse of Dreadbear expansion. So, yeah. I'm just going to give it 4 out of 5. Okay, now we get to the plushies. First of all, Grim Foxy. To be honest, doesn't really look that bad. That bad. The hook is cute, and... I don't know what's going on right here, but I guess that's the lighting, I guess? I, I don't know. I'm 4 out of 5. Next one, Jacobani. 
to be honest, the, it looks okay, I guess. It's not bad, but it's not gr it's not great, but still good looking plushie. So, yeah, our four out of five. And Jack O. Ch oh God. Sorry, that was just my mom. But, anyways, you're probably wondering, what was the silence about this one? Well, here's the thing. Now, I'm about to share a opinion. Now, uh, before you go on, let me explain what this opinion is. Now, this is an opinion that may or may not cause some FNAF fans to probably want to kill me, but here's the thing. I do not like the Toy Chica plush whatsoever, and in fact, I actually like Funko's, or Funko's original F FNAF 1 Chica plush. Yes, that's, that, that is correct. I, I like the FNAF 1 Chica plush that Funko made over the Toy Chica plush that Funko made. And you're probably wondering, why? Well, first of all, well, first of all, it didn't, first of all, the consistent... See, started with the with the little feet stuff, which, to be honest, that really isn't a complaint. I was just looking for something to uh, possibly fill the runtime, I guess, of this video. I don't know. To be honest, the feet. To be honest, it's not bad, but I just wish they would do it with more characters besides Chica. And also, the other reason why I hate the Toy Chica plush is because of the eyes and the fact that started the trend of no longer having the puffed up eyes which is the main which is the main reason why I like most of the FNAF plushies like the puffed up eyes but even then I've kind of gotten used to liking this type of style of eyes because it looks somewhat puffed up but not as puffed up as the FNAF 1 plushies and the actual main reason why I hate the Toy Chica plush design is because they will reuse it instead of the classic Chica design because, like, this, this went for, or actually, the only thing you can tell that this, it isn't supposed to be the Toy Chica design is a head shape, I guess. I don't know, they obviously re just reused the Twisted Chica one. Which, here's the thing, that Twisted Chica plush, they just reused the Toy Chica plush base instead of the Chica plush base. Which r is really annoying, because, again... I'm the type of person who likes the Funko's version of the FNAF 1 Chica plushie instead of the Toy Chica one. So, yeah. That's... So, yeah. Please, please don't threaten me over that opinion. So, yeah. But will I still get this plushie if I can? Eh, sure. But still, 3 out of 5. Next one. Dreadbear. I... I really don't get why they couldn't do the same colors with the action figure, but that's really the only complaint. It looks nice, I guess, and to be honest, it looks both derpy and adorable. Like, immediately, when I saw these plushies, specifically, uh, this one right here, which don't worry, I'm gonna get into that, and this one, all I thought was, I need this. I, I legally need this in my life. So, yeah. Especially look at the, look at this grid. Like look at his face. It, it looks like it, it looks like uh, yeah. It just looks like he's drugged. It's like oh yeah, man. How you doing? And and I mean that as a compliment too. Like I just, this this look this looks derpy and I love it. So five out of five. And now this one. This. Immediately when I saw this plush, I squealed like a woman. So yeah. Why? Look. Hold, enhance. Oh, wait, crap. Uh. Okay, wait. Crap. Okay, yeah. Look, look at this face. Look how adorable 
that face is. L like, look at the little hook and the little teeth. D look at that face. It it's small. It's small and I love it. So yeah, five out of five stars. Definitely want to get this and hopefully I can actually find one in, in Walmart. Or maybe I might get lucky and be able to find one on Amazon because Walmart, because I have, because Walmart exclusive stuff do have the possibility of showing up on Walmart. So, there's that. So, yeah. Anyways, would I recommend getting these plushies when they come out? Or plushies action figures when they come out? To be perfectly honest, yeah, I do. I actually do recommend doing that. And the only thing I would recommend doing is maybe making a glitch trap plush. Just saying. And I know people are going to say, uh, but Kate, people could just use a Spring Bonnie plush because that's what it, because that's the plush that is possessed by glitch trap. Well, yes, that's the case. But to be perfectly honest. Coming from me and maybe a few other people, I would mostly prefer using a glitch trap plush. And hey, if they ever do one, and if I ever get my hands on a vanity mask, hey, maybe a vanity cosplay or something. It would have to be Ginger Benzo because again, I'm, I'm, I'm sad. I sadly haven't transitioned yet, judging that I still look and sound like a male. So, uh, yeah. So I'm going to have to wait for that. But, anyways, to get back on topic, yeah, I would recommend buying these. If Funko is watching this, could could you maybe send, like, all of this stuff to me? Because I, I wouldn't have any problems reviewing these. Like, I would love to review these. So, if Funko is watching this, maybe maybe you could send these so I could review- send these to me so I could review them? Please? I know I sound- I know I sound like I'm begging, but, uh, you know- this, and this, and this, is it, and all of this, so, uh, yeah, anyways, um, that's gonna be it for this video, I hope you guys liked the video, make sure you guys subscribe and like for more, and I'll see you all guys later, peace out home guards, and goodbye -a.